I'm Dr. Steven Schwartz. I am the founder of Bioharmonic Technologies. And if you're watching this video, congratulations on the purchase of your brand new Vibe 3.0 Vibrational Sound Therapy System. Today I'm going to walk you through how to set up your new Vibe 3.1 Vibrational Sound Therapy System and it begins with the bass and it's really simple to use it has these three different sections and there's only four screws in the whole thing and they're located on the top here and the bottom here and the top here and the bottom here and these fold in on themselves make sure that everything folds out here completely and also make sure that these wing nuts are are tight. You want to make sure they're completely tight and equally balanced. Make sure to watch your fingers that they don't get pinched in these little joints. The vibe mat itself will come folded like this in half and just know that the way that these are designed they're made to fold in half so it's safe. In fact um, the wiring inside, there's enough in there where it's created to make sure that you can bend it safely. So if you want to bend it and put it in your closet or move it around in your car, just know that it's super safe and it's encouraged. You can just set it right on top of the base. Line it up appropriately. And that takes us to the back side here and this is the appropriate sequential order for setting up your new Vibe Vibrational Sound Therapy System. And we start with your Vibe Record and this is really important. There's a little lever right here that pulls down. Nothing should be forced or pulled. I can't emphasize that enough. And what you want to do is come to the little insert right here and just find where it twists in like this and then just twist it clockwise until you hear that click and that's it then you're good to go if you want to undo it take the trigger and pull it down and then rotate it counterclockwise and pull it out if it does not release easily you're doing it wrong and these can break if you force them so once again in here till it slips all the way in, click, and then that's it. And then pull it down, twist it counterclockwise, pull it out. That's how you insert the custom vibra cord. Now the other side of this, I like hiding the cords. I'm very much interested in that process. And if I turn the amp around, this is a 250 watt amp, and we see red and black. You're going to take the red and the black and push, put them right into the subwoofer output. Not over here, but right here. And there's only two, so they match up. And then the other component of it is going to be the power cord. So the power cord, you want to just make sure that it fits right into the outlet. Push it all the way in. And then you want to just plug that into your power supply. And then the only other components that are associated with this are going to be these two RCA to three quarter inch jacks. Once again, red and white. So the red goes in the red, the white goes into the white. And then we have two sets of them. Red goes into the red, white goes into the white. They're exactly the same chords, so that's not a problem. However, what you do want to see down here is it says in and out. The in is going to go into your tablet, into your custom Bioharmonic Technologies tablet, and the out is going to go into your headphones jack, which we're going to go over in just a minute. Or if you're going to plug into a speaker, it goes into the out as well too. So in going into the tablet or any kind of music production input 
without going to the headphones, speakers, or any kind of output device. And some of the other components back here, you want to make sure that this trigger, that that is on music. And then there's this little levels right here. This controls like the internal bass in here, so you can kind of play with that. There's this level indicator down here, and you can turn it all the way to the right or all the way to the left, and that will give you a little bit of extra vibration in the, in the vibrational sound healing vibe system. So keep that in mind. So we just finished setting up your new 250 watt amp that comes with your new vibe vibrational sound therapy system. The back is all assembled, and this is what the front looks like. So there's a power button here, and when you turn that on, as you see, this is not turning on. So we want to make sure that the power is plugged in. And once that's turned on, hit this button. And now we see the red and the green lights. And then we see phase, low pass filter, and volume. These are your three control panels that you can control the vibrational output with this. There's one other component that comes standard with your vibrational sound system and it's your headphone amp. And this is gonna control autonomous volume through your headphones. So there's a power cord that comes here and it plugs right into the back. And then the front of this plugs right into your power source. And then you can just put that right on top of your amp. And you want to see the red light on here. So if you turn this off, see the red light goes off? And if you push it in, then the red light is on. That means this is on. And then you see two different components. So that takes us back to the two RCA cords that we plugged in the back. And you have an input and output. You want to make sure that your output RCA plug gets plugged into this audio in part. And as we plug this in, that activates your headphones. And then the other jack with the adapter that comes with the headphones, you can plug that right into your headphone jack. And then the headphones are good to go. And the only other component is the in portion and that plugs right into the accessory port for your custom bioharmonic technology tablet plug that right in and then on the side this is what activates the tablet this lower button hit the lower button and then you see the bioharmonic technologies logo you can just swipe up and this activates the tablet. All of the music is found in this music icon, so you click on the button, and it has all of your Bioharmonic Technologies albums listed here. And you can choose from the different albums, you can choose you can create set lists which we have not done yet which I'm going to make for another video and then you're ready to vibe and what you want to make sure is that the volume is turned all the way up with this with the volume control so the top button make sure that that's all the way up and then you want to make sure that this is controlled here feel the vibration. And you are ready to have your very first amazing vibrational experience on your brand new Vibe 3.1 system.
So you just finished having an amazing experience on your new Vibe vibrational sound therapy system. I want to show you how to break it down and disassemble it. So whether you're going to festivals or you're going to events or you're just simply looking to move it out of whatever room you might be having it in, in your living room, spa, resort, gym, office. I want to show you some key points on the breakdown, which is really important for the longevity of your product. I always break down each vibe system to all for all the materials to stay together separately. So the first thing that you're going to want to do is unplug the custom vibrational cord, the vibra cord. I can't tell you how many times I've seen this break because people are rough and they're trying to force it out. Make sure you come in with your thumb and just pull this trigger down and then twist it to the left counterclockwise and then it pulls right out. If, if it's not coming out easy, then it's locked in and you will break it if you forcefully try to remove it. So just pull the trigger, turn counterclockwise, and it slides, look, it slides right out. If it doesn't come out that easy, then you're doing something wrong. Now, the custom vibra cord is unplugged. That's the first step. Take the whole amp system and just pull it away from the vibe system. The first thing I would do is just unplug unplug the cord to the main body amp. What's important when you're unplugging is that you keep everything together. So if you're gonna unplug the, the cord from the body amp, you wanna make sure that it stays with the body amp. If you've met me at a show, you see that I usually travel with multiple vibe systems. I always break down each vibe system to all for all the materials to stay together separately and I pack them up together so when you unpack it next time everything that you have is for that system. Take the cord and put it here. The next thing is I would break down the, the headphone amp and the same thing. Unplug the cord, unplug it from the power source and then when you're wrapping it this is how I usually keep everything nice and tight is you don't want to actually wrap the cord super like super tight you want to kind of keep some looseness but some structure like this this is a great way of preserving your cords for a long time to come and then you want to unplug the headphones unplug the the three-quarter inch cable same thing with the tablet you want to unplug the cable and then you want to make sure that you shut it down so just hold the bottom button to where it says power off and it's just going to take you through its own natural shutdown make sure that this is preserved I would encourage you to pick up a, a case or some kind of protective covering for the tablet so it doesn't get scratched and it's nice and preserved and then when it comes to the headphones these fold in on, the, on each other and that's what I like about these particular headphones is they have a small footprint, uh, they're very light, they have a great noise canceling feature to them, and then you can either unplug this cord or leave it plugged in. In the box, when you received your new Vibe system, there is a gray travel case. Make sure you keep this and use your headphones and keep them nice and safe and protected. You want to unplug the custom Vibe cord from the back. And then when you're pulling out the RCA cables, you don't want to pull them from the cord here. You want to pull them from the metal base. And then what I'll do is I'll come and I'll keep these together like this. And I'll loosely just kind of keep them all together. And then everything's together. So we just finished breaking down all of the Vibe 3.1 components that you see here. And the only thing that's left is to break down the Vibe 3.1 
bed and the base. So this is designed to fold in half. So just know that you're not going to hurt anything, you're not going to stress anything, um, that the wire inside is designed to bend in half and you can just pick it up and you can just move it out of the way. We have some custom bags that are going to be ready for uh, purchase within the next few months as we're perfecting that but for the most part as you can see it bends in half and you can put that in your closet in the back of the car you can use some bungee cords to wrap it up in the meantime and then when you're going to break down the base there's only four wing nuts that you need to concern yourself with and it's best if you can kind of just unscrew them at the same time just like this just kind of take off the nuts I really like this base because it's really durable and all you have to do is just rotate these metal parts in here and it goes flush and then just repeat that process on the other side. Loosen up the wing nuts. That rolls right into here and then you want to make sure that you put these wing nuts back tight all the way up don't just leave them halfway down because they'll end up unscrewing and then you're gonna be left without wing nuts and when you're really gonna need them because this base doesn't work if it unless it's screwed in so these fold in what I like about this you know just like my man Nikolai Tesla, three sixes and nines, right? This has three different components that break up and then this breaks in on itself into this really nice compact unit just like this. And you can take this and put it right on top and then you're left with these components. So I like taking uh, getting a, a bag and putting them into one specific bag so make sure that everything here has its own its own uh, process for being self-contained and protected and then once we have that you can keep it all together and as you can see I have a little dolly and that allows me to move easily with all these components at once and that's how you break down the new Vibe 3.1 Vibrational Sound Therapy System. I look forward to talking with you all very soon and raising the vibration of the planet and harmonizing humanity using sound, light, and frequency technologies. Thank you so much.